guys, it's Huff. I am back again with part four of my Purples Now Polish collection, comparing them. Um, I have two more parts left after this, so six parts in all to do the purples that I could kind of easily sort out anyway. So we have another one of those swatch wheels that's got a whole bunch of others already on it. <laughs> so we will just get going. So first of all I'm going to compare these two polishes uh, we have from Essence Colour and Go we have Breakthrough and from Rimmel 60 Seconds we have Purple Rain. I actually shook the polishes before I started for a change. I love the brushes on these Essence ones. I'm starting with um, the Essence Breakthrough. The brush is great, but this formula doesn't seem... You see that? Um, in the viewfinder this looks like a blue-purple, but in person it doesn't. And this is, this is why when you hear me talking it's not necessarily what you're seeing. Um, but usually when I actually edit it looks kind of how it's supposed to. So, I don't even know why I said that. I was just rambling. Um, so this is Purple Rain. The Rimmel ones have a really nice brush as well. The colours of these two are quite similar and actually the formula is quite similar. Um, there is... It's, I, I can't see it in the bottle. But on the swatch, both of these look like they've got shimmer in them, and I thought they were creams. Hmm. Interesting. Um, both of them appear to have shimmer in them. Well, there you go. Let's see what it looks like after the next coat. Well, the next two I am going to compare. These two here. This one is Spring Break from Ultra 3. And this one here is, I can't remember the exact name of it, it's Purple Something from L'Oreal. It's um, 829, the stickery thing on the back. If you accidentally take off the top one, you no longer have the actual name of it, you only have the number on top. I could go to the trouble of looking it up. It doesn't seem likely. I might do that by the time I edit the video. So this one is Spring Break from Ultra 3. A little bit on the sheer side. But I like the formula of most Ultra 3s. They're so a really nice polish and really well priced. Um, it's cheaper to buy an Ultra 3 than it is to buy this size of L'Oreal. And there's a fairly substantial difference in the amount of polish that you actually get. So this is the purple L'Oreal, and this is what I found when I first used it. It's, it's like a, almost like a jelly formula, it's like super duper sheer, and it looks so promising in the bottle. And then you put it on and it's kind of like, mm, yeah. Um, but I will wait for a second coat to make any determination on that, because at the moment they don't look very similar. Uh, so when we compare these two next, there is a difference in the fact that one of them has a shimmer and the other one doesn't, but it's more the colour um, and probably the formula too. So this one here is from the Kmart, one of the Kmart brands. Uh, it doesn't have a name, it's just 08. Um, super cheap nail polish. Um, and then we have this one, which is an Essie. I don't have very many Essies, but this is one of the Essies that I own. This one is Damsel in a Dress. Um, this one actually has a bit of a shimmer in it, but the base colour looks really, really similar. So we'll start with number 8 from Kmart brand. Um, it's actually not too bad. The form is actually not too bad. A little, little bit runny, but... Um, it goes on nice, nice enough. And damsel in a dress. 
my Essie. Yeah, the, set, the colours are similar. Um, strangely enough, uh, ease of putting on the Kmart one was almost easier. It's just a little bit more runny, so you, you can see there, it's actually pulled on the side, which the Essie one did not do. Uh, except for the shimmer, they are actually quite similar. Shimmer tends to make your polish look a little bit lighter, um, which not everybody realises, but that's what happens. Um, so next we're going to compare these three. I've been doing a lot of this comparing two Maybellines together. They seem to have this habit of making a lot of polishes that look exactly the same or very similar. So this one here, this one is Purple Gem. This one here is Purple Icon. So they look, yeah, they look pretty similar. Both shimmery purple. This one here is a Sephora by OPI, one of about four that I own. And this one is Ms. Can't Be Wrong. Um, yeah, so it does have a shimmer, the Sephora one, but it's not quite as bright as the other two. So I'm going to start with Purple Gem. A bit sheer but goes on easily enough. I'm going to do the Sephora one next just so I can make it a bit easier on myself to remember which one's which. I sometimes forget. There's just so many polishes with so many names. Um, this is a lot more opaque but it's not going on the best. I think it's actually the brush. The brush is actually not too bad. I don't have a lot of experience with Sephora by OPI. Um, I picked it up at like cheapest chips. And purple icon. Um, so the Sephora by OPI one looks a lot redder than the other two at this point in time. But we will see when we do another coat. And the last three. I'm going to do, oh, this one here is um, a Savvy by DB um, Color, D, DB stands for Designer Brands, they're um, a company that does like their own, like they have the Designer Brands brand, and then they also have the Savvy brand, I think they have another one as well, I'm not sure. Um, this color is Barcelona, um, they make them for Priceline. Um, I'm going to compare it to this one by NYX. I think I own like two or three NYX girls nail polishes. Uh, this one um, doesn't actually have a name. It just has a number. I think that one there. 182. And the third one is a Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Purple Posy. So we'll start with the cheapest of the three, which is the Savvy. Which, although it is quite a cheap polish, is not terrible. It's, it's a little patchy, but it is not terrible. And then the NYX one, which um, I probably paid the next lowest price for the next one. I got it off of uh, Cosmetic Capital. There's an online retailer in Australia which sells nail polish quite cheap. Quite a bit cheaper than you can buy it in store. So it's a bit thinner um, than the super cheap Savvy one. The Savvy one I got in a two pack for five dollars. And Purple Posy has the best brush because the Complete Salon Manicures polishes have a great brush on them. It is actually, at this point, looks virtually identical to the Naked Eye to the NYX one. Um, they're both a little bit on the thinner side. The Savvy one's got a bit more pigment on the first coat. But it's, it's hard to tell.
I, I'm learning, it's hard to tell. So we'll go back to our first two, the Essence Color and go in Breakthrough. Super pretty. The shimmer is still there, which I didn't even realize it was there. But seriously, I just thought, like, looking at it in the bottle, I just thought it was cream. I hadn't actually picked up on the shimmer. It's funny, I've worn this a few times, and I didn't even notice. <laughs> and Rimmel Purple Rain, which again, I've worn a few times, and I didn't even realize it's got a uh, shimmer in it. Go figure. They're not the same. <laughs> uh, breakthrough is a lot brighter. It's a lot brighter colour. Um, the Rimmel one is more of a muted, almost like a greyed out version, slightly. Um, yeah. So they're similar, but they're certainly not the same. The uh, Essence one comes across as a bit more berry, like brighter, pinker berry than the room one. But they're both quite nice, so yeah. So next we have Ulta 3's Spring Break. This is almost a jelly polish. Like it's a bit too pigmented to be jelly, but it has almost a jelly finish to it. It is a super beautiful, bright purple absolutely love that colour. Um, and the L'Oreal, which I don't know the name of, is definitely a jelly type polish. It's just, even super thick, this just doesn't have, like, it also picks itself up when you're trying to put on the second coat, which is really, really annoying. Can you see that? They are probably the same colour, but the Ultra 3 Spring Break is what I wanted the L'Oreal to be. It's um, That's why the L'Oreal one is in, part of the reason it is in my, using up my mini, I class those as mini polishes, is it's just not as good as a lot of my other polishes. It's actually really disappointing, because it looks super great in the bottle, like the colour is beautiful, but it just doesn't translate onto the nail. Um, yeah. Probably good for jelly sandwiches. And again, you've got that pulling thing down the side, which suggests that the formula is just a touch too thin. It doesn't hold its position properly. Um, yeah, so the Ultra 3 one, definitely way better. I love that colour. <laughs> Okay, so on to the Kmart, um, sort of, I don't know what colour you call this, like damson kind of colour, plummy kind of purple. It's actually not bad. For a super duper cheap polish, I think I paid like a dollar, two dollars for it. It's actually not bad. It's a tiny bit stinky. It's not the stinkiest polish I've ever used, but it is a tiny bit stinky. And it is a really nice um, colour. It actually reminds me quite a bit of um, Lincoln Park at um, midnight, just without the shimmer. I probably got quite a few colours in, in that vein. Um, and Essie's Damsel in a Dress. The formula on this is... Mm, it's okay. It's just touch streaky. But it is basically exactly the same colour. It's just got shimmer in it. Which makes it look a little bit lighter. But it, it is like exactly the same colour. So it just depends on whether you want shimmer or not. And if you don't want shimmer then, you know, you go for something like that. Although I don't know if you can get it anymore. Um, of course the Essie one, I know you can still get that one. I'm pretty sure you can. Essie you can usually get hold of. Um, although I wouldn't pay the price that Essie actually is. Just just saying. <laughs> so, uh, Maybelline Colour Show in Purple Gem. 
You know sometimes when you paint on nail polish and you just go, oh my god, I just, that's so pretty. It's like a very pinky purple with a bit of a blue shift and pinky sparkles in it. Hmm. It's a little on the thin side, um, to be honest, but the colour. The Sephora by OPI in Ms. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. Ms. Can't Be Wrong is actually really quite gorgeous. Um, a darker colour, but it has really nice pinky sparkles in it. Maybe some blue sparkles as well. So pretty, but not the same as the Maybelline. And <laughs> purple icon from Maybelline Color Show. I actually have a lot of Maybelline Color Show polishes. This one's picking itself up a little. Just annoying. It, although in the bottle they do look super duper similar, it's clearly not the same color as this one. Um, it's a lot pinker, a more pink to it. Uh, the Shimmer and Sparkle is actually a slightly different colour. Um, this purple gem one has a blue flash every now and then, which is not present in Purple Icon at all. So, similar, definitely not the same. And the last three, Barcelona by Savvy by DB. Really nice purple cream polish. Looks pretty good. Super cheap. Tiny bit stinky. Uh, NYX Girls in 182. Not as pigmented as the Savvy by DB one. Um, a bit darker in colour. Maybe a bit more pink touch brighter not as good a formula strangely enough and purple posy by sally hansen complete cell and manicure the second coat is much better than the first coat makes it completely opaque um i i, I never thought i'd actually say this i actually don't like designer brands i like a lot of their stuff I just really don't like but I have to say over the formula of the three nail polishes it was pretty good it's very pigmented probably could have almost got away with one coat if you put on a slightly thick coat normally Sally Hansen's complete salon manicure a lot of them are one coaters but that one was not and for the price I mean, this is something like three or four times the price of the Savvy one um, and the NYX one, um, honestly, I'm, I'm glad I only bought a couple of them because I haven't been that impressed with either of them. So, then none of them are exactly the same. Um, the Purple Posy is a lighter version of the Savvy by DB with Barcelona one. This one is obviously a bit darker. Um, they're all nice enough colours. But, yeah. So, that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos. Leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I will leave a link to the first three parts of this particular comparison of purple polishes. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.